So I figured I better preface this video. Um, so before we get started, I'm Rebecca Burstett. Um, in today's video, we are talking to a scammer. This person kept calling my dad and calling my dad and calling my dad and calling my dad. And you would think after all the times that I have told him that this stuff is a scam, don't talk to these people, just hang up on them, block the number, blah, da, 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 that, you know, he would learn that these are freaking scams, not to deal with them. But no, he continues to entertain them and talk to them and then wants to know why he feels like he's getting scammed after I've already told him multiple times, it's a scam, dad. So if you have elderly parents, please keep an eye on them. Please, if you have access to their phone, you can turn on the do not um, ring part of the phone for numbers that are not currently in their phone. So basically anybody not saved as a contact in their phone, it will automatically silence the call and send them to voicemail. Now, granted, they're going to have to remember to check voicemail, but it cuts down on the uh, veracity of some of these scammers because um, a lot of these scam calls, if you answer the phone and they ask you, are you so-and-so, and then you say yes, they can use that yes for a recording or record it and use it for authorization for something else. So be very careful how you answer things. Um, don't ever say yes, say correct, or that that would be me, or something out of the line along those lines um, to verify that you are who they're looking for. Um, the other thing I want to mention is when you uh, deal with people like this, if you don't want to deal with it, just don't answer the call. When you get an automated thing, as soon as you hear it's automated, hang up on it. Do not engage. Do not talk to these people. Uh, save your time and your energy. The only reason why I do this is because I have fun harassing them. So that's, And I use these videos to teach people what not to do. So hopefully you enjoy uh, me harassing a scammer who's been calling my dad for weeks and um, multiple times a day and different people have called from the same number or spoof number and come to find out it legitimately is the corporate number to um, a internet service provider in our area. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the video and then the outro I already recorded on this. So. Yeah, this a long one. Enjoy. Okay, well, and I, you know, I was also on the computer with your dad. If you could, did your dad know anything about us? Yeah, he did. He said something about our internet. Yeah, he was trying to send us an update. He has a more of a security update which we normally do. Okay. Unfortunately, the update wasn't going through. So I just asked your dad to check his services on the computer for me, which he did. And unfortunately, a few services were stopped. So we had to get them uninstalled, and then we had to install them back again. And in order for us to do that, he was supposed to get connected to our secure server. Would you be able to do that? Yeah. Fantastic. Is there a desktop or a laptop around? Yes, there is. All right. Lovely. Let me know once uh, once it is fired up. I'll let you know what to do next. Oh, I'm already on my computer. Okay, it's a Windows computer, is it? Mm-hmm. All right, and are you using your dad's computer? N no, I'm using mine. Okay, not a problem then. Uh, do you, you need me to get on my father's computer? computer? I think he had already downloaded something called as an Ultra Viewer. I'm sorry, because could you, what was that called again? Ultra Viewer. Ultra Viewer. Let me... Yes. Let me... Let me... Um, I don't even know. If you're on Google, just type in download space Ultra Viewer. So, is, is this like Team Viewer or something? No, it's similar to Team Viewer. Oh. But this is getting connected to our secure server. So, okay, maybe... Team viewers mainly for meeting. Okay, Sorry. maybe you could tell me what... I mean, my dad was kind of, like, confused as to what's going on, and that happens when your parents get older, you know? 
So I uh, could you could you walk me through what's going on with the internet problem so I have a better understanding? Because my dad was a little bit sure. confused. No problem. I'll let you know exactly what's happening. So this there's a security update that we send to the modem every six months. All right. Now this security update that we do uh, updates the modem and also increases the firewall for the modem. Now uh, we weren't able to send the update this time around. And I was asking your dad as to why. Uh, like I was asking him a few questions if he's changed the position of the modem or unplugged a few wires. But I'm, uh, but gladly that has to go on that I'm more than that. All right? Because there could be a possibility that we may face a lot of internet issues if the update doesn't go through. And in a very rare scenario, the internet could even shut down. Which is why we had actually called your dad in order to get this rectified. Oh, see, I thought they did updates yes. more frequently than every six months. No, it's actually every six months. Oh, okay. So every week on Maybe Tuesday the when the modem off. turns off and then resets at like 2.30 in the morning, that's not them doing an update? That's correct. Okay. Now, do you have a direct number at Comcast that I can call you back at um, just in case our, our call gets disconnected? Definitely. If you have a pen and paper handy, I can help you out with the technical team's direct number. Yep, got it right now. All right, what's it? What's the number? It's two, 267. Mm-hmm. 219. Okay. 8464. And your your name was again? My name is Mark. And what is your Comcast badge number? Just give me a second. I'll assist you with that. That's MX. Uh-huh. Double zero double zero double four. So MS, a whole bunch of zeros and a four? That's uh, double four. Double four. So there's one, two, That's three, four, five zeros, and then two fours? There are four zeros and two fours. Oh, okay. I got. I had an extra zero in there. That's all right. Oh. Okay, so you're saying that our update hasn't been going on to the modem? That's correct. Are you sitting in front of the laptop right now? Uh, I don't own a laptop, but I have a, I have a computer. Sitting in front of so can you I tell me the, I, the IP address that's on my modem? Because I, I, I don't know what that is. You don't know the ID, IP address to your modem? Yeah, what is, what is the IP to my modem? Just give me a second. I'm just going to have, I'm just going to take one minute for you to find that out. Okay, just give me one minute. Okay. Thank you so much. Does it not show on your screen? Unfortunately, it's not, which is why I was asked giving you an alternative. Oh, okay. All right. If you could go on Google for me, please. Okay. And just type in download space ultra viewer. Yeah, I have it. I have it pulled up. Ultraviewer.net. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have it. I have it right here. All right. And what what do you see? Um, that it's a scam program. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? It says it's a scam program. Scam? S C A M, like a ripoff. Like it's a it's it's not legit. I think you've uh, typed in something else altogether. If you could. Uh, I typed in Ultra Viewer and. There's a bunch of Google results, ultraviewer.net, which you confirmed, and then the next option down, it says it's a mm -hmm. scam program. And there's a community, there's a Microsoft community alert that says it's a scam program. And then the next, next sure Google right. search down says new scam using Amazon and ultraviewer. I'm not quite sure where you're getting this information from. 
I'm reading it right here on the Google search. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Google, I have Google search as well open, and the first option that I see when I'm typing in ultraviewer.net, that is download ultraviewer. <coughs> it says, ultraviewer is a software that helps you remote uh, control slash remote access a computer. And then it asks to it, it says people also ask for, and then ultraviewer.net, and then it says, is UltraViewer a scam program? And then it says, new scam using Amazon and UltraViewer. Those are the those are the top options I have in my Google search. What have you typed, please? UltraViewer. I didn't type download, I just typed in UltraViewer. I asked you to type in download UltraViewer. Oh, I know what you asked me to type. Mm -hmm. So, how often does this scam work on people? I'm not quite sure. Really? So, how many people do you talk to a day? I normally talk to a few people a day, maybe 20 or 30. And how many people do you get to download this software where you have remote access to their computer, where you can go in and, and download a key logger or some remote virus that allows you to access their computer as long as it's connected to the internet? You do realize that there are a lot of things that are on the internet that can be used for good and for bad. I you, hope you know that. Okay, let me inform you about who I am. I have a master's sure. degree in computer engineering. My specialty is okay. in computer systems securities. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I do? And you think that UltraView, and, you, and, you, and you're telling me that UltraView can only be used for scam? Okay, Google you your phone your number. Degree? Google the phone number that you gave me. The two two six seven two one nine eight four six four. Google that number for me. just on the phone with somebody and they ended up hanging up on me. I do apologize for that. Um, what were you going over when you were taking the, or taking care of that call? I was just trying to figure out how many people you guys scammed a day with this lovely um, Comcast ripoff scam that you guys have going. Okay, what type of uh, scam is it? Oh, you, are you telling me you don't know that Comcast has warned uh, their customers about the scam that's, that you guys are pulling? Let's see, I'm not aware of it. Uh, what took place or what's happening? Oh, well, supposedly there's some update that hasn't been going to my modem like every six months. And um, I know for a fact it's done every week and what day and what time it, it happens. I also know that you don't have my IP address. I know my IP address, but you guys don't seem to un know what that is, and you want me to download some software so you have access to my computer? That ringing a bell for uh, you? That's unusual. Uh, did you get like a call, like somebody saying there's something wrong with your modem or something like that? Yeah, from this number. Okay. All right. So I do want to raise the awareness for you. There's uh, our line has been spoofed for the past three weeks. Um, this is actually a company mainline, and it doesn't make outbound calls. So what's going on is uh, people are reporting to us that uh, somebody's calling them from this number saying there's something wrong with their modem, and they usually have like a strong Indian accent or something like that. So you're, but, wait, uh, wait, let me stop you. Um, I have a master's yeah, degree right. in computer engineering. I know this is a scam. 
I'm recording everything. I've been recording for four, almost 14 minutes now, and I will be putting this up on YouTube. So are you a legitimate Comcast employee? Yes, uh, this is actually the, uh, the corporate number is what you're calling. Okay. But the thing is, it's a company mainline, so it doesn't make any outbound calls. Yeah, well, my father, who is in his 60s, has gotten numerous calls from an East Indian accent sounding person since uh, Friday. And um, I said, what's that number? And I Googled it, and it says, Comcast Xfinity says that we'll never call and ask for sensitive data. And I was like, Dad, have you not watched me watch enough of that guy Kit Boga on YouTube to know that this stuff is a scam? And he's like, well, they said, I was like, Comcast does updates every freaking Tuesday night on our modem at 2.30 in the morning because I know I'm sitting here at my computer when it does it. Because I can tell you every, every time exactly and for how long you guys do an update on our modem. And the guy was trying to tell me, oh, well, our update is six months overdue. I'm like, no, the hell it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, that guy's definitely a scam because usually what we do first, like when we do make an outbound call, is we actually have to verify you first before we release any information. So it's, uh, it's definitely one of the big triggers that this is not us. This is definitely a scam call that, yeah. uh, that you're getting. I also asked for um, his Comcast badge number. And he gave me a number. Uh, he, he probably gave you some bogus number. Yeah, um, because you guys don't have badge numbers. numbers. <laughs> no, not in the corporate office, we don't. Exactly, <laughs> which is why I asked for it, to see what he would give me. <laughs> so, my, yeah, no, that's unusual. My, is, well, no, it's, it's usual because uh, this is happening more and more now. Like, what they're doing is they're, they're spoofing numbers like, you know, Xfinity, AT&T, Verizon, like all these major companies is what they're doing. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're getting a lot of people. Well, my, my master's degree is in computer system securities. So, okay, I, so you know all about it then. Exactly, which is why I started asking him other questions and then he hung up on me. Now, he did give me a different callback number, but this is the number that he's called from like numerous times. And we had Comcast for years and years and then we got rid of it and we went to something else local and then we just switched back not that long ago to Xfinity. So I find it odd. And I, I keep telling my dad, look, I'm like, the car car insurance place isn't going to call you about your rates because number one he's been with the same car insurance company for 24 or 25 years i said uh, you know all states not going to call you about some great rate in the area they're just not going to do it i said just like comcast is not going to call you when we have an outage so that's when i can get on the phone and i call so i just i find it amusing and i record these and i put them on youtube to make other people aware that these scams are going on and I try and provide as much information for people so that they can be safe. So. Yeah, no, definitely, you're, you're doing the right thing. Because, uh, I mean, what we could do is basically just we raise awareness. Uh, we have to notify people a lot of times, like, you know, if our number is calling you, don't answer it. It's definitely not us. When we call you, it's either going to be a local number or it'll say 1-800-XFINITY. But it's, it, it definitely won't say this number. Yeah. Well, I found a news article from Jacksonville from 2019 that explained everything. And it even shows, like, all the different numbers and stuff. Um, that they're calling from. So I already knew it was a scam. As soon as I had the number and I was able to look it up, I knew it was a scam. But then they wanted me to download this remote viewer kind of thing onto my computer. I'm like, heh, heh. nope. Oh, yeah, no, once they start doing that, you're like, no. Ain't, ain't gonna not. happen. <laughs> not on my computer. Yeah, no, it could be, because well, what bothers me the most about these situations is the, the elderly are the most, you know, vulnerable to this. And oh, my dad completely bought it. Hook, line, and sinker bought it. Yeah. And I'm like, dad, that's a scam. <laughs> So. Oh, man. Yeah, no, we got to be careful. And then when they start telling you to pay for something with the gift cards, you're like, okay, yeah, that's definitely a scam. Oh, Nobody they, asked you to do that. They had him <laughs> terrified a couple of months back. Um, I was sick, and I was in bed sleeping, and it was a Saturday, and this guy called my dad, said he was a cop. There was a warrant out for his arrest. They needed, like, $3,500, which, you know, my dad usually keeps some sort of stash money somewhere. So he's like, well, the, the sheriff's office is only, like, a 15-minute drive from our house. He says, I'll, I'll go there now and pay it. And they're like, no, 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 you need to go to the gas station to get gift cards. On. And he comes in, he comes in my room and he wakes me up and he's like, his hackles are all up and he's all upset. He's yelling at me. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You wake me up. You're yelling at me. What the hell? And he explains it. I'm like, it's a scam. No, no, no. They said there's a warrant. So I picked up my phone. I called my old boss at the sheriff's department and I said X, Y, and Z. And they said, um, Hang on. He typed in my dad's information and said, nope, no warrants in my system. You're good. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. It's good to know people like that, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, I used, to work at, I used to work with the sheriff's department, so I know how that stuff works. So, again, it's like, no, dad, it's a scam. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, 
Oh yeah, the only spot where I look out with that is like, I do have a family member that works for the sheriff's department, so it's like if I ever have to ask them like for any advice, I can always like call them. But yeah, no, it's a shame that this is happening so much, and it's uh, these days it's happening more than ever. It's just like you gotta can, be careful with what you click, who you call. Can they not get like legit jobs or something? That's what I don't understand. I'm like, can you not get a real job? Do you have to do this to ruin other people's lives? I mean, I've got oh, yeah. 28 terabytes of storage on my computer. 28 terabytes. Nobody is getting in my computer. Okay? Yeah. And that's not including the 5 terabyte or the 6 terabyte removable hard drives that are not always plugged into my machine that have backup materials on them. I have a lot of stuff on my computer. Ain't nobody gaining access to that. And I've got easy kill switches, too. So what I'm like... What gets me is it's so scary that a lot of people are not knowledgeable about this stuff and they're getting taken advantage of. Yeah, and it bothers us a lot here too because I think the worst case scenario we saw recently is uh, I actually got the call. But what happened is the lady, the lady called me, told, she, told me that she got some killer deal, awesome, you know, 120 bucks piece for the next three months. Uh, all you have to do is pay them $350 worth of. Uh, was it like gift cards? And yeah, or like Best it. Buy or eBay or whatever gift cards they yep. want at the Best time. Buy. Yeah. And so sure enough, she did it. She thought the deal was so good, she had three more of her family members do it. And I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. It was so bad. And she, she was an elderly lady. I felt so bad for her. Well, I know um, on a fixed income, and it, it's just, it's heartbreaking to see that, you know, that people yeah, do this crap and the fact that they get away with it and there's no way to stop them. You can block the phone numbers, but like you said, this is a legitimate phone number for a business. And if I block this number on my father's phone, if he ever needs to happen, I don't know, call your office someday, then maybe he will not be able to get through. But still, yeah, if, if you block the number, then they spoof another number and they can, I mean, hell, I've even had my own cell phone call me before on my cell phone. I'm like, gee, normally when I call my cell phone number from my cell phone, I get voicemail. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> so it's like, um, well, that's a new one. I'm calling myself. Did I butt dial myself? What, what's going on? <laughs> so. Oh. Well, yeah, they, they got some type of software that dispenses that caller ID. I, I still haven't seen that, like how they did that part yet. It's some sort of VOIP uh, that they're using to do it. And they're using IP blockers and, and things like exit lag and whatnot to try and, like, um, other VPNs. They're trying to use VPNs to spoof where they're calling, you know, their IP addresses when they're in your computer, and they're using VOIPs for their phone system so that they don't know what's coming and, and going. So it makes it really hard to track down. And with a VOIP, because it pings from different locations, you can't track it just like with, you know, one of those subnet IP maskers. Yep. It's not the same. It's harder to track. Yeah. That's, that's the biggest challenge with is, I mean, we're even working with government agencies and they still don't even know how to block it yet. Well, I, I love it when I get the ones that message me on various like websites that I sell things on and they're like, well, uh, let's do a Google Hangout chat and then they want my Cash App information or my Venmo information and that's when I contact Cash App and say, I got another one. <laughs> and they, oh, yeah. and they and show me accounts. A lot of these people are raising awareness like that. Uh, they'll, like, before you do anything with them, they'll have like a little posting that says, we will never ask you for your login information and like stuff like that. A lot of people are doing that now. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, no, it's just, it feels like just everybody's getting hacked lately. It's, it's horrible. It's like the career criminal, criminals is what it is. True. I wish I wish some, some organization kind of like, I don't know, anonymous or something would get on the ball and get these guys shut down, but, you know, they're they're not as organized oh, as yeah. they used to be. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of challenges that come with it, too. True. But there's a lot of red tape, and a lot of people don't want to step on the wrong toes. But, yep. well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for actually being a legit human at a legit company on the other end of the line. Uh, you got it. Because I was going to tear you a new one, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no, I can hear you. So that's why I was a little lost at first. I was like, I better find out what it's about. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm, mm -hmm. no, because I called the number back that called called my dad's phone number. And I'm dad's, my dad's outside. So it's like, uh-huh, you get to deal with me. <laughs> Not, oh, yeah, not... no, I what I tell them usually is like, whenever somebody calls you asking for information, don't give it. It's better if you call a company mainline instead and know that you're actually calling that company. That's true. what I tell most people. Very true. Well, sir, thank you so much for your time. And um, I, I'm sure, well, I didn't give you my name or anything, but I, I'll be editing this to put up on YouTube as soon as I get a chance. And it'll go up on both my YouTube channels with disclaimers and all kinds of fun stuff. So, <laughs> hopefully. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. No, it's just a big, uh, the biggest.
part is this way raising awareness to people is what it is. Yeah. Do I have your permission to use this part of the recording for the video as well? Yeah, go ahead. Definitely. Okay. Figured I don't I'm not in a two party like cons um you know, consent state, but I, I don't know where I'm calling you at. It said something about Pennsylvania, but I'm not quite sure, and I don't know if you're a two-party consent state there, so I just figured I'd better ask and make sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, two one, the 215 number is uh, Philadelphia area code is what that is. Okay, well, I'm in Florida, so... <laughs> okay. But thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. I hope you have a great weekend, okay? Yeah, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, there's a lot of phone calls on here. Just to show you, wait for my phone to catch up. There you go. These are, of course, one of those calls is me calling out. These are just from today. Those are all the incoming calls from today on my dad's phone. And then there is another one here. So that's three. And I could do a search if I wanted to to find more. And of course, you know, there's, you know, where my dad's, oh, my dad's called me. So um, I knew it was a scam. I want to make people aware of this scam that's going on. And it was actually nice being able to speak to somebody from the legitimate headquarters at, at Comcast so that um, not only could you hear me talk about that these are scams, but you could also hear a corporate employee um, talk about it. I will leave the corporate number down below if you would like to call and verify yourself. I will also leave linked the articles um, that I pulled up to read as well as some of the searches that I did. I'll leave like snippets and stuff when I was reading from the screen that talked about, you know, that uh, viewer website being a scam. I will screenshot those and then add those to the video as well. I just want to make as many people aware of these scams as possible. My father is in his mid 60s and a lot of people get, uh, they fall for these things and they don't understand that they're scams they should have your IP address. Like if I was to ask Comcast, hey, what's my IP address? They'll be able to pull it up in the system and be like, oh, did you want to write that down kind of thing. Um, I know I can access my modem from my computer or even my phone if necessary. Um, I know that they do weekly updates on my system and I, it's usually on Tuesdays, but sometimes they do it on Wednesdays or on Mondays, but I usually can tell when they've done it because my modem um, makes a different noise than it normally does when it's like disconnected from the internet. Um, so I know when they're running uh, software updates and things like that through to my modem. So I know when all that's going on. Just want to make people aware that this happens and that this is uh, rampant lately. And there's all kinds of scams that go on. So please be sure to keep yourself safe and make sure that your family members know this as well. Comcast will never ask you for your, like they'll ask you for the last four of your social and maybe your birth date or your mailing address, like your physical address. They'll ask you for things like that, but they'll never ask for your IP address. They'll never ask you for um, a credit card number. All of that stuff is automated now. So they put you over to a payment processing system where you actually enter the credit card number yourself into the phone system. You do not give that to a human anymore on their system, just an FYI. The other thing is do not ever download a remote viewer of any kind kind, whether it's TeamSpeak or the Ultra Viewer thing that he wanted me to use or any type of remote access, what you're doing essentially is giving them free reign to do whatever they want on your computer. They could go in and delete your entire um, catalog off your computer and you would be sitting here going, oh, hey, what are you doing? What? Wait, where's all my stuff going? And you can't stop it. Once they've started certain processes on your machine, they can factory reset that bad boy and you'll lose everything. So keep in mind when um, you get calls like this that seem rather sketchy, that is when you hang up, you look up the number yourself and you call the company directly. Comcast will never call you and ask you for this stuff unless you have a call into them and you have asked for a call back. That's the only time Comcast will call you is if you already have an open ticket. Like say you call and their customer service line is booked up so that they, uh, they can't get to you right away. They'll say, uh, you can wait in line on hold or we can call you back as soon as the, your spot in line opens up. They do have that feature, but they don't ever call you just out of the blue. Like I was saying, the car insurance companies aren't going to call you and, and let you know that there's a rate change in your area. Nah, not going to happen. You, if you have a warrant for your arrest, they're not going to call you and warn you. They're going to show up to your job or your work like wherever you work, your house, uh, places that you frequent that they know about, they will show up and arrest your ass there. They do not give you a heads up because they don't want your ass running. 
So just keep that in mind. Uh, it, when in doubt, call the authorities or call whoever they're claiming to be. Hang up from whoever you're talking to. Call the legit place and verify the information. You can always call the sheriff's department or your local jail and ask if you have, or even local police station and ask and say, hey, I just got a call that said that I've got a bench warrant out for me. Can you run my name and see if there's a warrant? They'll tell you yes or no. So, you know, it, it's just as simple as that. I just want to make people aware of this and um, hopefully you guys are having a safe weekend. I don't know when I'm going to edit or upload this. This is May 1st. So happy Beltane, everybody. I have been out in the yard digging in the dirt and playing and um, planting seeds and all kinds of fun stuff. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Bye. Be safe.